Oh my goodness. He finally came back. Yeah, that's me. Your teddy bear. I'm the one talking. Well, to be honest, I don't know how I learnt to talk. I guess it was because I used to spend so much time with you. And of how close we are. I eventually picked up your language. I mean, you started talking to me so often. Wow. You've changed so much. It actually took me a while to recognise you. But I quickly became certain it was indeed you. So, how have things been? Wow, that's... Yeah, I guess you could say that. Huh? Even the way you talk, Shane. Not by much, but still. Of course I remember how you used to talk. Well, I, I still remember everything, all the way back, from the very day we met. Your parents gave me to you on your seventh birthday. I still remember coming out of her box, and the first thing to greet me was big, warm hug you gave me, and how incredibly happy you seemed. You looked at me, as if you found treasure. And ever since then, you pretty much never left me. Other than when you had to go to school, of course. Hmm. We would cuddle with you would cuddle with me every night when you went to sleep. Read stories to me. Talk to me about your day. What's TV and movies together? And of course, we play games. All sorts of fun games. There was no limit to your creativity. Sometimes you would bring your friends here. Or bring me to your friend's place. And we would all have fun together. Or. You would just hug me. And not do anything else. And we would just stay like that for a while. Within each other's embrace. I loved it. Most when it, when you did that. You felt so warm. And comfortable. <laughs> you felt the same? Oh, That's good. You also took me wherever you went, because you didn't want 
me to be lonely. And I really enjoyed going to different places with you. I still remember this one evening. You accidentally left me at the park. You know. For one, that's two blocks down from here. I laid firm on the ground, wondering where you went and where you were going to come back. Then it went dark, and I was starting to think that you had abandoned me. But shortly afterwards, I heard footsteps coming this way, and then I heard your father say, FOUND IT! And he picked me up from the ground. You then hugged me, tightly in your arm, and cried. While your parents were comforting you, and told you to take better care of your belongings, you cried non-stop for a good 10 minutes and that night you had me more tightly than usual. Huh. No need to apologize for that. After all, I'm glad that I was so important to you. You treated me like your greatest friend. And I saw you as my greatest friend. As well as life with you was endless fun and pleasant. And I'm very happy that I was given to a lovely person like you. To this very day, the memories of us spending time with each other fills my heart with happiness and warmth. As time passed on, you grew up, you learnt and experienced many things. Life became more free for you because you learned how to take care of yourself and how to do things on your own. But at the same time, life always became more restricting in the world became less kind to you. You had more responsibilities. More things to do. Such as homework, assessments, tests. Your schedule became more busy. Even your parents would say something like you're too old to play with your toys. And as a result of all that, we spent less time with each other. And then, you graduated high school, left this house, and went to university in another town. Your parents moved somewhere else for their careers too. And I was the only one who remained here in this empty house. No? 
There's no need to apologize for leaving. At first, I loathe the fact that you grew up. Because you grew up meant that we would drift apart. The times when we were a playful and carefree child always spent time with me would be further and further past us. And I could never go back to those days. No matter how much I wanted to. But after some thought, I've come to accept it. You have a life of your own. And growth is inev inevitable in life. Moreover, growing is a good thing for you. And it means that you're changing for the better. And there's nothing I wish more other than the best for you. It would be wrong and selfish for me to stop you from going through a natural and important process in your life just for my own desires. I know that somewhere you are utilising your skills, talents, knowledge, and other things that you've learned and acquired to live the life you want to live. The fruits of your efforts and experiences are ripening. And you have grown into someone amazing and lovely. So yes, I do miss you strongly. And I feel lonely at times. But whenever I think of all those joy-filled moments, we've had together. When I think about how much fun we've had, as well as how much you've grown, and that you're out there, living however you want. I can't help but feel joy and comfort inside. You know? It's just like that meme on the internet. Don't cry. Because it's over. Smile. Because it happened. <laughs> Plus. Nothing has really ended yet. I mean, we're great friends, right? Speaking of wits, I'm extremely glad that you came back, even if it's just for a temporary visit. You haven't forgotten me, nor this house. Ha, huh. fair point. How could you forget? You know, even though you're no longer the child 
We were a few years ago. I can tell you. First tour of a remaining piece. Fedison side you. And it will always be with you. No matter how old you grow. Or how much you change. Oh? You want to take me to where you currently live? <clears throat> Forgive me, but no thanks. Don't mistake me. I do miss you. And I miss the times when we were together. But I think I should stay. This house has too many memories for me to leave. It feels better to stay here. Well, wherever you go, always remember to come back. Don't forget that this was once a place that sheltered you. Harboured you and nurtured you, and it will always be a safe place for you to come back to. This was and is a home that will be that will welcome you. <laughs> And of course, no matter where you go, where you go, or how old you get, one thing will remain consistent. You will always be my friend. And I will always be here. Any time you want, come find me and we will play just like old times. <laughs>